Hey loves, so this is my vlog, and I've honestly lost count of how, <laughs> what number I'm on. It's been a little bit. I've just been going through quite a bit. Uh, I went from one job to another. I think I explained that in my last video, that I went from one job and then was there for specific reasons and then got my next job. Well, this the, the transition, for some reason, the energies are completely different from the one job to the other. So I'm going through that, and I just have not had the energy to do much of anything. Grateful for my husband, who takes care of a lot of stuff while I have my moments. Um... I'm going through a, another awakening, another spiritual awakening, which really takes energy from me. If you've ever had one, you know. And we're also getting set to go from this RV park to the next RV park, which I'm super excited about. Uh, this one's a little more... I don't even know how to explain it. A little less fun. <laughs> The one we're going to next, or it might actually be a winter thing too with RV parks. Everything, everyone kind of goes into hibernation, especially if it's a little colder. And um, the one we're going to next, I know right before we left, it got the same way a little bit. So it might just be the winter thing here in Oregon. I don't know. Anyway, going to the next park, and it's got a stream, it's got nature. It's got all kinds of nice things. And this one has some of the same things, but it's a little more, um, without being rude or anything. It's just, it's not as family oriented. You don't hear anybody. Besides the point, it's a vlog. It's not about the park. It's more about what I'm up to. <laughs> Trying to get myself out of that part. I'm just basically going through some things. I cleaned up some things today in the 5th because I had some messes going on. We're still trying to figure out the whole compartment type thing. Because when you move into a 5th wheel from and you've always been in an apartment or you've been in a house or whatever, you get an apartment mentality. So I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to also minimize things. And I'm a very high... I watched a video today on YouTube that about highly sensitive people. Now, and I mean sensitive. I don't mean like I'm crying my eyeballs out kind of sensitive. I mean like you're attuned to things. Energies around you. And I'm very sensitive to energies around me. I take on personality energy type thing. Like, an example, so I mean not my personality, but when I was in foster care when I was younger, when I went in, I had, I was fine with my digestive system. I know this isn't going to be too much information type of thing. The person had, my, my foster mom had some issues with her stomach. When I got in there, I was fine. When I left, I, I did not know this till like 40 years later. Because I wound up being allergic to like milk, dairy, you name it, for like 35, 40 years. Because she had some of those issues. And come to find out, I'm kind of an empathic sponge. So I took on the things that she had. That's what I mean by taking on like personality traits. And... Years ago, I was around someone who is celiac. I wound up getting a, a migraine to gluten. So I have to protect my energies. And when I'm going from one job to this job, the energies are so different and it's draining me and I'm trying to compensate for that, which is why I haven't been doing this vlog because I haven't had the energy to barely even do things. I just want to sleep. I just, which I really can't sleep very much. 
Has anyone else experienced that? Leave a comment. Let me know. How do you deal with it? Because actually I'm not dealing with it. I am working with it. Like a video I saw earlier. And if I find the video, I'll link it in the description. But basically like taking a shower and just concentrating on the water, drowning out your ickies, you know, all those energies, going for a walk, finding a quiet space, being in your room in the dark, and you know, different ways to work with the energies. And get, for me, I did a video earlier today, Palo Santo, getting rid of all those energies, and it did help out quite a bit. But also, if your area, I'm not an OCD person, but if I'm in a messy area, I do kind of feel like I have to clean it up a little bit. And since I didn't have the energy to clean up my fifth, I did a lot today. And I am tired, but I'm like, I need to get this out and say hi to you people because I appreciate you and I appreciate your patience and everything. It's just me being exhausted. And I haven't even had the energy to make jewelry, which for me is not the norm. I'm usually like, ideas are going through my head, and they have been. I just haven't had the energy to make it. <laughs> and I work noon to four tomorrow. That's another thing. The hours with a new job are all, like, all over the place, but they're like four to five hours in, long, in length. So like, uh, the other day I worked, what was it? 3.30 to 7.30, but tomorrow we're at noon to 4. It's like 4 to 5 hour shifts, 3 to 4 5 hour shifts, which I really do like. It's just so much different than the last job I had. So I was working 28 hours a week with the other job. A lot of energies. Some of them were kind of negative. And I was walking anywhere from 11 to 16, 15, 16,000 steps a day with a new job. So that's seven hours a day, four days a week. This one I work five days a week, typically. And they're four to three, three, four, five hours a shift, which to me works fine. And I usually am scheduled five days. But I can work around it. I, I mean, I have time for my husband for our coffee time in the morning like we normally do. Unless, of course, like tomorrow we're doing to four. So, but we still have time. We'll still have time in the morning. Or if I work at 10 o'clock, I'll see him at night. You know, things work. And also, I will have time, more time for my business. I will have time to work around it and before it. So tomorrow when I get home from work, I'll have time to do some things, depending on how my energy level is. I need to start making more videos. I need to start doing a lot more with what I'm doing here. I know that. I'm just working my energy, trying to get those energies better. Because when I'm also making those energy videos, I also need to make sure that energy is good for you. If it's not good for me, it can not be good for you. And I'm all about love and light and making sure that you're good. But yeah. Um, that's really about it. That I can think of right offhand. I just wanted to get this video out to you so that you knew, hey, I'm still here. And I didn't post a video earlier. Um, yeah, it was a little minute video trying to get my shorts in. Or YouTube. I just have, I haven't been slacking, believe me. I, and I know I haven't been posting, which hasn't been on purpose, but I'm gonna try to get better. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. I do appreciate it. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. And, um, you know, if you've gotten this far, let me know what kind of content you like the most about what I do. How has your day been? How do you work with your energies? What are some of the things that you do? And please, if you get something out of my energy videos, if you get things out of my jewelry videos, if you get something out of these blogs, share it, please. Get the word out. Like, comment, share, get the algorithm going, all that fun stuff. Because the one thing I'm noticing is that my videos aren't getting a lot of views. And if they do, 
not a lot of comments, things like that. I have my usual people that make comments, and you know who you are, and I love you for it. But yeah, I, I want to get myself out there, and the algorithm, you know, you comment, you like, and you share. Share to someone you know that likes, that needs a little energy. I've got plenty of those. If you know someone who likes crystal jewelry, share some of my jewelry videos. If you want to share the blog, is there something you want to know about me? Make a comment. If you know someone who's interested in watching this vlog, I think you get the idea. So I am going to call it a night, and thank you for watching. And now that you know what I've been up to, and now you know why I haven't been doing the vlog, and I'm sorry about that, Schmidt happens. <laughs> but anyway, love and light, blessed be, and thank you for watching.